Part 1. Understand. Chapter 1. Why Cognitive Behavioral Therapy? It can solve a specific problem. CBT is a general term for a classification of a number of different therapeutic techniques, all of which are guided by the same underlying principle, and that is, when we change our thoughts, we change our lives. This makes CBT an incredibly versatile approach and enables it to address a wide range of issues just by identifying the maladaptive thought or behavior the client would like to correct. For example, someone suffering from anorexia will need to change the way he or she feels about himself or herself and his or her body, whereas a patient struggling with social anxiety must resolve his or her feelings of insecurity and social isolation and target the thoughts that trigger them. These two clients have different presenting problems, but CBT can benefit them both because it can be tailored to fit any problem. So CBT techniques can help just about everyone. It is goal-oriented. It's been said many times that CBT is goal-oriented therapy. This means that there is a clear and definitive objective that the client and therapist must define at the start of their relationship. During every session, they'll realize this goal step by step, and both parties understand what it is that they ultimately want to achieve. This is an advantage because it clarifies the purpose of the therapy and makes sure that both the therapist and the individual agree about what they're looking to achieve. Sometimes with other kinds of therapy, like psychotherapy or behavioral therapy, this is not the case. In CBT, what the client wants to achieve is often what the therapist will do for them. It gives the client more freedom. Another advantage that CBT has over other psychotherapeutic approaches is that it is more collaborative than most. CBT practitioners often work together with their clients to overcome their problems and alleviate their psychological distress. It is directive and focused, but it also allows the client more freedom and control over the therapeutic process. CBT is also more interactive and requires mutual effort from both parties for the therapy to succeed. So, while the counselor's guidance is essential, the client's participation and involvement are equally integral. It deals with current problems. Unlike other therapeutic approaches, CBT mainly deals with present-day problems and experiences. It addresses thoughts and behavioral patterns that are currently detrimental to the client. It doesn't dig deeper into their past or analyze their childhood experiences and subconscious drives. Rather, it's firmly rooted in the here and now, and it emphasizes the client's current issues. This is part of the reason why it is the least time-consuming of all the therapeutic approaches and also a factor for why it is so practical and efficient. Clients can start to see positive results and progress quicker because CBT helps them deal with their issues and improve their current state of mind. It doesn't waste time trying too hard to uncover the deeper or hidden meaning behind things. It's faster than other forms of therapy. This brings us to the next advantage of CBT. It is a time-limited approach. As stated before, it is the least time-consuming of all kinds of psychotherapy, and it takes only one to two months before clients start to see some progress. On average, most clients need around 20 hourly sessions on a regular basis, usually once a week, so the therapy can be completed in five to six months. This is why CBT is the most recommended form of therapy for clients looking for a simple and effective solution that can alleviate their psychological distress and better enable them to deal with their problems. It's quick and efficient, and most people have a good idea about what to expect. Moreover, clients can also benefit from CBT in the sense that less sessions means it's less costly. It's a great help for people who are seeking professional help and counseling, but cannot afford to spend more than six months in therapy, be it due to time constraints or financial reasons. It is easily accessible. CBT is perhaps the easiest to understand and apply of all the psychotherapeutic approaches. 
Its highly structured nature lends itself well to several different mediums, which makes it one of the most accessible and widely available forms of counseling. From individual counseling to group counseling to self-help books like this one, almost anyone can learn and practice CBT. From clinical diagnoses like post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, generalized anxiety disorder, GAD, social anxiety disorder, borderline personality disorder, and eating disorders like anorexia nervosa and bulimia, to more common problems like overcoming addiction, recovering from substance abuse, dealing with depression, relationship problems, and anger management, CBT can help with quite a number of things, as you can see.